Hello everyone and welcome once again to MJ's Maths and Stats. That's MJ Magic Studio to you. I am your host, your dost, and always in the ghost mode, Mohit Jain. So what we have today, we have a censure. So we would be starting with a censure, the different modes of a censure, different types of a censure exams. अभी आप पूछेंगे what do you mean by different types of a censure exam? A censure आएगा, exam लेगा. There are three platform on which Accenture actually takes exams. We would be talking in detail about all the three platform first, so that you understand that if that platform is there, mentally you should be prepared that what kind of different questions that can be asked. In Accenture, there are 90 questions which you need to do in 90 minutes. That we know. No negative marks. You can go to any section and uh, do any question. You can come back to the question and change the. answer also if required but when we are dealing with section 2 and section 3 which is critical reasoning and abstract reasoning uh, those are roughly 18 plus 15 that accounts to 33 questions from reasoning based on that platform what are the different question asked first i am taking up a on platform which will be gray in color six sections each section questions will be one after another you need to drag up and look into those questions section 2 critical reasoning and problem solving obviously 18 questions will be there question number 18 to question number 35 section 2 here please do these topics thoroughly first is deductive logic deductive logic or syllogisms you will get four questions from that flow charts when we will do uh, a on platform questions in detail you will see that what kind of flow charts are given those are basically numbers flow chart 10 boxes would be given 10 numbers are there and some directions are given after we follow all the direction what would be the result one of such number flow chart would be there and after solving that we need to question we need to answer basically three questions then we have data sufficiency statement assumptions statement conclusion one question each that accounts to three question so this is 10 now what are these remaining eight remaining eight would be caselets caselets or puzzles which you say two broad puzzles would be there and with each there will be four questions so that accounts for another eight questions and total 18 questions would be there in this particular section if you are facing a on platform perfect okay let's move to section 3 uh, that they call it abstract reasoning in section 3 you will get coding decoding three questions classification or odd one out you will get two question missing terms numerical alphabetical or numerical alphabetical mix you will get four questions analogies and we'll show you what kind of analogies you will get those are basically numbers and uh, alphabets analogies two questions so this is 5 and 6 11 and the rest four will be non verbal reasoning so that accounts to 15 from this particular section non verbal reasoning might include uh, maybe uh, mirror image water image paper cutting and folding then uh, complete the missing diagram or one part of the diagram is missing you need to find which sh should fit in those kind of question you would be facing so this is a on platform it is easy uh, people invest time basically in this puzzle set you need to be very quick practice a lot of these kind and you will find a uh, few sample questions on a on platform in our upcoming sessions now let's talk about another important uh, platform you might get essential exam on your metal platform metal platform is also gray in color but uh, in this platform for each section 
you will get only one question at a time on the screen like in aon you can scroll up and one after another you can see the questions but here the tab will be there buttons will be there on the top of the screen where you can press and you can get only one question at a time you will get only one question at a time that will be metal gray color platform so here also there are 18 questions in section 2 and 15 question in section 3 in section 2 what we have seen of lately just do teen din pehle hi uh, metal platform essential maharashtra drive mein jo exam hua hai wahan se ek amazing cheeze samne dikhai di hain from flow charts you will have three questions but here you will have three different flow charts one flow chart one question like in a on there is one flow charts and three questions which follows here you will have three separate flow charts you need to follow the instruction written on the flow chart put in the input what is given in the question and then find the output it is something like that it's it's simpler but three different flow charts then from data sufficiency you will get one question deductive logic or synonyms are two questions statement assumption statement conclusion type questions or statement inference or what you can infer from the given paragraph you will have four questions 6 and 4 is 10 now what are these remaining eight remaining eight are basically sitting arrangement or ranking type question one data one question like in a on you will get one set of data with which you might get four questions that follows from that particular set of data but here you will have one set of data one question not big not huge data would be there small data chote chote data honge just you need to concentrate and solve we will see metal platform a uh, question bank also sitting and ranking based question you will get eight eight of them so that accounts to 18 questions in this particular section now coming to section 3 you will get a uh, series completion number series or alphabetical series mostly number series four of them coding decoding three classification odd one out uh you might get two and basically these are verbal based that means it would be based on vocabulary rather than numbers or alphabets classification would be based on vocabulary four words would be given you need to identify which one doesn't belong to that group that is the mental platform fine then non verbal reasoning picture diagrams you will get four four of them uh something like this nine blocks are there eight blocks me kuch diagrams diye gaye hain you need to identify what will feature in the last block so here we have 7 9 and 4 is 13 and the remaining two is analogies analogies are also verbal based classification is verbal based and analogies are also vocabulary based that accounts to 15 question and this is how it differs from aon you won't be able to get anything in detail as much we are discussing about section 2 and section 3 in essential even essential logo ko nahi malum hoga ki ye sab wo poochte hain aur third platform hai inka ये थोड़ा सा ग्रीन बॉर्डर साइव सा हैकर रैंक का है या हैकर अर्थ का ये थोड़ा मेरे को कंफ्यूजन है बट स्क्रीन ग्रीन कलर का है इट्स सेम लाइक अ मेटल प्लेटफॉर्म एग्जाम वन क्वेश्चन एट ए टाइम ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड यू विल सी 90 बटन्स यू कैन प्रेस ऑन एनी बटन एंड यू वुड बी देयर ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन बट सेक्शन टू विल बी अगेन एटीन टू थर्टी फाइव विद एटीन क्वेश्चन एंड सेक्शन थ्री विल बी क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सिक्स टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी ठीक योर मेजर टारगेट शुड बी टू गेट एटलीस्ट एट्टी परसेंट करेक्ट फ्रॉम वन टू फिफ्टी एक से लेकर पचास के बीच में कम से कम चालीस क्वेश्चन अच्छे से करेक्ट करने कोशिश करना यू विल गेट थ्रू द फर्स्ट राउंड बिलीव मी ना सेक्शन वन इज इंग्लिश एबिलिटी 
there are 17 questions are there uh, there is one video please go through it of different platforms and let's see what we'll get in green again the system is clear one question at a time in section 2 here we have got few different kinds of topic from which questions are that blood relations in section 2 blood relation or family tree type questions three of them then direction sense from direction sense you will get again three of them simple puzzle or sitting or ranking type question one what i have seen is one question out of this clear flow charts here are different you will get three questions from flow charts but those are different from what we have seen in aeon and metal how they are different that here they will be asking you theoretical MCQ related to flowchart. That means what is the symbol used for input of the data in a flowchart? What do parallelogram means? What do square means? What do arrow means? What do circle means in flowcharts? Clear. Those kind of theoretical flowchart based question would be asked in green platform. So now we have 9 and 1, 10 done. The remaining 8 would be from data sufficiency statement assumption statement conclusion type questions these will be eight of them that accounts to 18 beware of green platform it is not that simple this is the latest pattern which we have seen in green platform two years ago what we have seen in green platform was out of these eight questions they used to ask four questions from puzzles also so please prepare yourself for puzzles also and these puzzles are bit lengthy four of them these puzzles are bit lengthy if they stick back to their previous two years back pattern so what's wrong when we are preparing puzzles for aeon platform also we can prepare for this green platform also and mentally we can prepare ourselves so those will be 18 of them okay now in section 3 uh, analogies two of them classification a simple classification is that they ask three of them coding decoding two of them number series or alphabetical series fill in the blanks of what uh, term will come next four of them five six seven and four six and five is eleven so we are left with remaining four that will be from nvr non-verbal reasoning four of them that accounts to 15. so we have three platform on which accenture ask questions Aeon platform of Pocuse, Metal platform and this green platform. I don't remember the actual name of the company on which this green platform is. But there are different set of paper, different set of questions, different types. But the section name remains same. It is uh, critical reasoning and problem solving from section 2. Abstract reasoning from section 3. Same 18 and 15 question. Overall 33 question. And try to do at least 80% correct. You would be thorough for this. Somebody have asked that, sir, is there any section cutoff? If yes, how much score is needed to qualify for each section? That is what I am repetitively telling you from question number 1 to 50. From those 50 questions, try to get through 35 to 40 questions. That means in your head, there should be a cutoff range of 70 to 80 percent. If you reach the 70 to 80 percent in the first 50 questions, remaining 60 percent something you would be through through your first phase as soon as the phase one will continue you will see on your screen in green color that you are eligible for section two or the next section and in the next section that will be an r section i guess two coding question you will get which you need to clear once your coding question gets clear then you will get further mails for interview or other thing so on this note uh, best wishes to everyone who are appearing for uh, accenture 
for 2024 this time which is uh, around the corner and uh, do well stay connected with us because in the subsequent uh, day subsequent time we would be putting up few questions from all the three platform for you to discover